here's the top of the forest, fancy forest quilt. Pretty exciting. Now to make the bottom left and right side and put it all together. This is my sewing boom along with my iPad holder where I watch YouTube and listen to um, podcasts and listen to music while I sew. See my fancy holder there. And then this is my ironing station there. And I've got all my scraps inside there and there. It's a picture of my mom. My apple is a cross stitch of my family. And a picture of, uh, from Sarah Filkey's craftsy class that I did with her. And pegboard that I need more pegs on. And there's some more scrap scraps. And then I have my IKEA um, cart that I got. And there's my mom's butterfly hanging. And over here is a picture of my dad. And this is my design board. I'm working on Elizabeth Hartman's fancy forest quilt. I was hoping I'd finish yesterday, but didn't quite make it as I went shopping and did some other things. Here's the one quadrant that's finished. Yeah. Here's the other pieces that I need to put together. Here I am ironing the right uh, quadrant and trying to get it ready um, to put it together with the left one. Okay, now we're gonna put the last quadrant together. This is actually the exciting part, but you gotta keep looking at the pattern, of course, and double checking um, which one's which, because I didn't use the same um, fabrics. I have to keep double checking that I've got it right. Now, let's see how we put this together. A good thing about my design wall, it's on a bulletin board, so I can actually pick it up and move it close to my sewing machine so that I can just take it off and put it on there really quickly. I have the smaller boards as well, but this is good for a project like this where I can just pick it up and sew, pick it up and sew. Now when you do this quilt, um, I used all my stash. <laughs> and so I didn't use the exact same fabrics that Elizabeth Hartman used, um, but I followed her shading. Um, but the one thing that I didn't do was I didn't um, put the examples on there, which have been, would have been really helpful because now all I do is keep on looking back at the photo. Thank God I took a photo of when I put all the fabrics together and looking and counting it, you know, A, B, C, D, E, three, and looking at it that way. It would have been um, well worth the time to actually make the key. So definitely make your key. Um, this is the left, bottom left quadrant. So I'm gonna try to put that together and then do the right hand.